Good morning, my creative friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Painting in Your PJs with Minette. Still waking up a little bit this morning and getting myself organized because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do this morning. But uh, I'm super excited to be here for our Make Mondays Sacred. If you are brand new, welcome. I'm delighted that you're here. And painting in your PJs is all about using art as a creative pro process for personal growth, for self-discovery, and for, I really love, how do I want to say this, connecting our creativity to our spirituality. And this can be done in some really simple and mindful ways. And one of the ways that I like to do this, this is often one of my morning practices, or a lot of times it might become an evening practice. And I call this my morning art activation process, my morning art activation process. And um, this is all about combining some journaling and some art making with a little mindful breathing. I'm gonna light my candle. And oftentimes the, the easiest way to begin to connect on a Monday morning is, or any morning, is to simply light a candle. And it's amazing how lighting a candle can take me back, having grown up Catholic, you know, can take me back to that reverent place. And fire is sacred in every culture around the world. Um, and when I think about how just looking at the flame, taking a few deep breaths, reminds me to be here in the present moment. And mindfulness is so much about just present moment awareness. And so when I start my practice, I light a candle, and I usually have a journal or a sacred circle to color. So you might call this a mandala or a mandala design. These are also present in every spiritual culture around the world uses the symbol of the sacred circle as a mindful creative practice. Good morning, Cindy. And so this morning, I want to try something a little bit different with our practice. And I'm going to use just some water soluble graphite and practice connecting my breath to lines. Um, probably going to use my micron as well and uh, just see where I get to. Like something about the black and white feels soothing and calming this morning. Who knows, I might decide to add in some pops of color. I grabbed one of my favorite oracle decks this morning, the Mother Mary, Mary Oracle by Alana Fairchild. They're always, the cards are so soothing and the artwork is absolutely stunning. All right. And I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths. Just connecting to the energy of the cards here and sort of asking for, not sort of, I'm asking for what's a message for all of us who are here, present, listening, and those that are watching the replay today as well. Interesting. So the card that I called, look how much black there is. And I told you I was being drawn to work in black and white today. It's like she's standing in this gorgeous por portal and Our Lady of Manifest Miracles. Let's see what Our Lady has to say to us today. So the description's long, so I'm just going to read one little bit of it that says, Love seeks to manifest through you as you. It is not only your spirit that is to be blessed by love, but your body and your life too. You are meant to live a reality of divine love. You are meant to experience the presence of the divine in everyday life. Your spiritual life and material existence are not destined to be separate, but rather are to be united, enhancing each other, infusing each other with love and sacred relationship. My miracles are not limited to the world of spirit. They manifest in the material world as signs that divine love is alive in the here and now. Will you be a willing channel for my miraculous manifestations? 
We may think of miracles as special, out of the ordinary occurrences, yet Mother Mary teaches us that the miraculous is meant to happen every day. Let's see. And the affirmation here, Mother Mary manifests her miracles through me as I unconditionally accept and celebrate her graceful presence in my body, mind, and soul. Mother Mary manifests her miracles through me as I unconditionally accept and celebrate her graceful presence in my body, mind, and soul. A beautiful message this morning for all of us and some lovely divine inspiration. So if you have been asking for a miracle or a sign, perhaps she is here to offer that up to you today. And I'm having some bad allergies and so my nose is very stuffy, which makes it a little harder to do some mindful breathing. But I'm going to come in. This is just a a, a Stabilo Aquarelle pencil. It's slightly water soluble. And I'm on just some, I was at an event this last week and I printed out a whole bunch of these copies. So I have a whole bunch of these leftover sacred circle designs. And the reason that we opt to call them sacred circle designs is because the term mandala is specific to Hindu and Buddhist cultures and ours are intent to be sacred but not relative to any particular spiritual tradition. And I want to play with our breath this morning. So even if you just have a piece of paper with you, I want you to put your pen or your pencil down on the paper. In this case, I'm going to do it on this gorgeous design created by my son Connor Dobson's for our Sacred Circles membership. And I'm going to put my pencil down and I'm just going to inhale and I'm going to have my pencil match my breath. And then when I pause, I'm going to leave a little gap and turn my page. And then as I exhale, I'm going to continue that. Turning my page as I go. Inhale. And exhale. And I'm going to do this with color because you can't see what it is that I'm doing here. So I'm going to come back over here with one of my Derwents. And I'm just going to keep playing for a minute with this inhale. and exhale. And I'm playing with can I elongate those inhales and those exhales. Slow my breathing down, be more focused in the moment. So breathing in and out. And the more we start to play with our breath and combining our breath with the marks that we're making, the more focused in the moment we become, the more it frees our mind up to connect to Mary and that message of miracles. And as you breathe, you could even add in a mantra, a saying, or a phrase. As I breathe in, I breathe in miracles. As I breathe out, 
I breathe out doubt. And the more that we slow our breath, the more present we become, the more we get our minds out of worry, overthinking, focusing on our to-do list. And back just to the here and now, to the landscape of possibility. There's nowhere to be and nothing to do but to be present right here and now in this moment. As I breathe in, I breathe in miracles. And as I breathe out, I breathe out worry. I breathe in miracles. I breathe out overwhelm. Excuse me. And we can do this mindful drawing on a page, inside of a design, as we're coloring, just with each line and mark that we make, just slowing the breath, slowing the marks of the pen. I breathe in miracles. I breathe out doubt. I breathe in belief. I breathe out fear. Using the breath as our source of inspiration. To remind us that the only thing we have control of is right here right now. Noticing how my body is reacting and my head is wanting to go to a place of inner critic and grumpy complaining because this is inexpensive paper, right? So I'm noticing, you know, being pulled to back out of just this precious moment when I added the water. So I'm going to come back in here for some more just slow coloring. And remembering that these morning art activation processes are never about making beautiful art. For me, this is a mindful experience. It's a moment of connection with self, connection with prayer. 
and a gentle reminder that I get to choose how I start my day. And I can watch my strokes and feel how my body changes when I try to speed it up. I feel that sense of rush and hurry. I just want to get it done and move on to the next thing. And it's a reminder to slow my breath down. Follow the lines. There's a reason why psychology and American studies by the American Art Th Therapy Association tell us that coloring these sacred circle designs is more relaxing than just about any other form of art making. Definitely more relaxing than just approaching the blank page. And the reason is twofold. One, the human brain loves circles. There's a completeness and a wholeness to them. It's very calming to us. They represent both the whole and each of the individual parts. And while my brain may feel busy and full, like this gorgeous sacred circle design, what I also notice is that the symmetry is calming and relaxing. There's no decisions to make here other than pick a color and I can do that blindly or by choice. The lines are already there and I'm simply following the design. When our brains are so busy and so full of to-dos and all the different activities and the choices and oh, so many decisions we make day to day. That coming here to the page with a simple design like this reminds us to take a breath, to be present, to slow down. And I start to notice what kinds of marks my hand wants to make. Like I'm noticing that jaggy marks like this feel uh, aggravating, right? Like, Arr! and I'm trying to get something out. Whereas slowing down and going in small mindful circles My arm is more relaxed, there's less urgency, so noticing what's happening as your hand moves across the page. Are you rushing to the finish line? Are you pretty happy just slowing down and filling in the spaces. Playing with some of those marks. Noticing those scribbly lines feel really fun. and pressure matters. If I color lightly, it feels soothing. When I get in there and really put that pressure in and it takes my whole arm, just noticing. Noticing when 
my brain starts to float away back to what's coming next today. And I just bring it gently back to the now, to the miracles, to the gift of this early morning time. Thinking about how this is a gift to myself to pause here. And I go different directions on different mornings. Sometimes I start with journal writing. The more that I have uh, started to make art of all different kinds, the less I've wanted to write and the more I've wanted to draw or color and yet those words are still there and are often the completion of one of these morning art activation processes. Sometimes I start with the writing simply asking what is it that I need most today and allowing that answer to emerge. Sometimes I might do how, how am I feeling before and after coloring. Because the more we do that, the more we simply notice. And when we notice that we feel so much calmer after coloring than before, it's kind of like exercise. The hardest part is getting started, but boy, we feel so much better. Once we do it, then we're more inspired to pick up that pen, that pencil, those crayons, and to do it again, and again, and again. Simplicity Simplicity, simplicity. I breathe in and out. I breathe in and out. Letting that pencil follow my breath. Breathing in and out. And the more we practice this, the longer and the deeper our breaths get. Good morning, Carol. And the longer and the deeper our breaths get, the better it is for our hearts and our lungs and our nerves. Breathing in and breathing out. I can just follow that line, breathing in and breathing out. Good morning, everyone. We're just about finishing up here. We've been talking today about aligning our breath with our marks. Learning to just sit here with the page and ourselves and our thoughts to be present in the here and the now. To notice if we're rushing or scattered, we're noticing if we can just slow ourselves down, slow our breathing down
Notice how our heart rate slows. I breathe in, I breathe in miracles inspired by our card today from the Mother Mary Oracle, Our Lady of Manifest Miracles. Miracles are in the ordinary and every day. I breathe in miracles, breathing out any doubts, breathing in calm, Breathing out that overwhelm. Breathing in peace. I'm going to breathe out that tightness in my shoulders and feel my shoulders relax. But just really slowing those lines down. Aligning the marks I'm making with my breath. These little bubbles of light, this little pop of this bright yellow is just feels like little miracles calling my attention. I'm noticing the colors that I chose. The purple and yellow are also the colors of the first wildflowers to pop up here in Colorado. That brush is way too big. And even with my brush, right, just slow it down, move it gently, take my time with these little small lines. This particular sacred circle design is one of my favorites. I have colored it over and over again. And it's perfect for this all these tiny lines of slowing the breath, slowing down, focusing. And I know I have a full and busy day ahead and a full uh, busy week ahead. And it's okay. I have all the time I need. Which is appropriate for the affirmation on this one today. I allow myself to focus on completing one step at a time. That's all I can do. Long, slow strokes to match my breath. Just noticing how those feel. And something about the graphite in here, just kind of that adding in the, the little bit of the shadow. Knowing I get to
relax into the rest of that shade and that shadow as needed, but there's lots of light. No need to finish this. This feels like the moment to pause and just express a moment of gratitude for the time and the space that I gifted myself this morning for the supplies that I have easy access and the paper and express gratitude for Connor's beautiful design and for my amazing community gathering here to join with me. Thank you. And may your day and your week be an easeful one. And may it start with some bright light and some restful, peaceful energy. Knowing that you have time for everything that's coming and knowing that the miracles are there waiting if we're looking for them. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Bye-bye, everybody.